Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the V locator. So let's get started. Now here is the diagram of a V locator. It is used basically in order to support workpieces which are cylindrical or semi-circular in shape. In simple terms, we can say that V locators are used to locate those workpieces which are having curved surface. So as shown in the diagram here, the first diagram shows the V locator of fixed type that is fixed V and the second diagram shows the sliding V. Now in case of fixed V, this V locator is fixed in the body of the Jago fixture. So at the bottom what, what we are having here that is the jig or the fixture body. So the locator is fixed inside the Jago fixture body and it is located with the help of these dowel pins and Allen screws are provided in order to fasten or to remove this V locator from the Jago fixture body. So now what happens as the locator is fixed here, we have to put the cylindrical workpiece in contact with this locator. As we see here, there is this workpiece cylindrical in shape. Now, one of the advantage of the V fix, uh, fix V locator or simply we can say V locator is that they can accommodate workpieces cylindrical in shape of various diameters. So that is the advantage part of this V locator. So we can have different diameters of workpieces which are cylindrical in shape can be fixed inside this fixed V locator and sometimes it may also act as a clamp in order to hold the workpiece. Now, the we can say improved version of this V locator is the sliding V in which here we are having a hand nut with the help of the hand nut by rotating it. When we are rotating the hand nut, then with the help of the threaded screw, this V locator would try to slide towards or away from the workpiece. So there is an added feature that we can move the V locator. And it is also fixed inside the jig of fixture body, which is over here. So here we have a jig of fixture body and then there is a slot provided inside the locator, which provides the locking arrangement, which locks the V locator in the particular direction. And once the workpiece is located, we can perform any kind of operation or machining operations on that workpiece. So in short, that was a quick description regarding the V locator. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you'll can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.